pro players will hate me for sharing these techniques. Whatever I'm going to teach you in this video is only used by 1% of secret PUBG players in Conqueror lobbies. In common lobbies, players use to choose UMP over AKM, but things are different in higher lobbies. So I have started a series on mastering every gun in PUBG. My last two videos was about mastering M416 and DBS. You guys really liked my videos and showed some love. Thank you for your love and support, soldiers. Today's video is created on request of my subscribers. Everyone is commenting about AKM, nice choice soldiers. AKM is my personal favorite gun in this game. All right, let's start the video without wasting any time. Welcome to our new guide on mastering the AKM assault rifle in PUBG. Whether you're a new player to the game or an old pro player looking to refine your skills, this tutorial will help you with the knowledge and tactics needed to master the AKM. The AKM is a powerful assault rifle known for its high damage. AKM perform excellent in both close and medium range of fights. In this video, we will talk three things about AKM, damage, rate of fire, recoil. Basically, AKM is a 50-50 weapon. The major advantage of AKM is its damage, and major disadvantage is slow rate of fire. First of all, let's see how this gun performs in hip fire. And I will share some secret techniques that only pro players use to increase your hip fire accuracy and win any 1v1 situation with the Beast AKM. Tip number one. To win any 1v1 situation with AKM, you have to connect at least one headshot or connect body without getting low on health. Tip number two. Use right angle side view and surprise your enemy by aim on head. Tip number three. Use right angle side view with short right peak to surprise your enemy before they think. Make sure to connect head. All right, that's it for hip fire. Let's move into our video. Let's test the damage of AKM on overall body. Here you can see the damage breakdown of AKM on different types of vests and helmets. However, we will experiment on level two and three vest and helmets because it's commonly seen in battleground. All right, so we need 100 damage to knock down an enemy. Let's see an example with one head connected. So you just need to connect three bullets to knock down a level two geared enemy. It is that simple. Just connect a head and your aim assist will handle the rest. In case of level three, we may need to connect four bullets. But here you need to know a simple secret strategy of top conqueror player that nobody tells you. The strategy is when you find out that enemies may have level three vest, just focus on thigh because it will give more damage than chest, and you can win fights easily just by connecting three bullets. Now let's check rate of fire of this beast. The AKM actually has a lower rate of fire compared to some other assault rifles. Its cyclic rate of fire is approximately 600 rounds per minute, which is relatively slower than rifles like the M416 or SCAR-L. Let's compare AKM with M4 and SCAR-L. While this may seem like a disadvantage in terms of firing speed, but it does have its benefits. The slower rate of fire can help with recoil control. Let's use the advantage of slow rate of fire in controlling recoil. You maybe try to use AKM with 3x scope, but it doesn't feel controlled. But don't worry, I will teach you how to control recoil of AKM in different distances. 50 meters, 65 meters, 90 meters, 135 meters. All right, let's learn basic from 50 meters. As you can see, I am using it in burst mode and I am able to connect 3-4 headshots. You can also do it easily, just fire 4-6 bullets and try to control screen shake. Now let's see 65 meters. Remember to get prone and use compensator before using AKM in mid to long range. In 65 meters of range, you can easily control recoil. Just remember three things. Prone, burst shots, use compensator. Mastering AKM is not an easy task for everyone. It requires dedication and practice. Spend some time in improving your aim and controlling recoil in training ground. If you want me to make a video in sensitivity, comment below. If you are a player who copy pro player sensitivity, stop doing it now. Because each player has their own unique play style, reflexes, and preferences when it comes to aiming and movement. What works for one player may not necessarily work for another. Instead of blindly copying others, take the time to experiment 
and find sensitivity settings that feel comfortable and natural for you. I can teach you how to make your own perfect sensitivity. Comment below. If you are paying attention to video, you can see how easily I am able to control recoil in long range. By my own sensitivity, just apply three things that I teach you earlier. Prone, burst shots, compensator. Let's try full 6x, single mode and burst mode. All right, soldiers, that's all for today's video. There are a lot to learn about this gun, so wait for part two. If you are still watching the video, please drop a like and subscribe for more such videos and comment below if you want a special video on any gun. All right, happy gaming.